Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America and former Attorney General Bill Barr, who's become an anti-Trumper since the Trump administration ended and he worked for Trump. Well, he just shocked the world with what he just said about the former president. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out and they help our channel continue to grow. So Bill Barr was being interviewed on Fox News and he's been pretty you know, animated and adamant, both words, about his disdain or his, his lack of trust for former President Donald Trump to be president again. But the primaries are over. And now it's down to President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump, the presumptive Republican nominee. Not official till the convention, but come on. And what Bill Barr said, point of fact, and to the shock of the hosts, yeah, he's going to vote for the Republican ticket. And of course, the Republican ticket is going to be, barring anything insane, Donald Trump and his vice presidential pick, whoever that may be. Now, with all the things Barr has said about Trump recently and the negative things he said, this was a shock. But does it show the Republican Party will come together now, will coalesce around Donald Trump and do what we have to do at the voting booth to get Joe Biden out of the White House and Trump in the White House? I think it does, but I want to know what you think. Please let me know. As always, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. You know, look, the Chinese and the Mexicans give us happy talk. They're not cooperating. They're both complicit in the, in the trafficking, in my opinion. And uh, we have to start getting much tougher with them. Yesterday, they seated seven jurors total uh, since the Trump hush money trial has begun here in New York City. It's quite a spectacle, quite an event. Um, I know that you think that the prosecution seems uh, far-fetched. Maybe oh, yeah. the best oh. way I could. Uh, maybe that's the kindest way that I can say that. Um, your thoughts as to how this is going now that it's underway and what well, you think about it? Well, I, I've said from the beginning, this, this case is an abomination. You know, it's obviously political. Seven years after he pays hush money to try to come up with this case. It's also, as you say, it's not only far-fetched, it's, it, it, they're trying to predicate it on a federal crime, which wasn't prosecuted, and they're wrong about it. This was not uh, a, a, a campaign contribution. They're just wrong on the law. But to me, this shows uh, that the real threat to liberty uh, the real threat to our system are the excesses of the progressive left. They, they're perverting the system of justice, uh, and you know that's where the danger lies, the corruption and subversion of our institutions by the left. Uh, I heard you call this hush money case outrageous. Um, and I also know you've been asked many times, you've had your disagreements with the former president. Um, he's the presumptive nominee. We assume he will be the nominee. Will you support him in 2024? Well, I've said all along, you know, given two bad choices, I think it's my duty to pick the person I think would do the least harm to the country. And in, in my mind, that's uh, I will vote the Republican mm, ticket. You I will. will support the Republican ticket. I think the real danger to the country, the real danger to democracy, as I say, is the progressive agenda. And uh, while Trump and I said uh, Trump may be uh, playing Russian roulette, but uh, continuation of the Biden administration is national suicide, in my opinion. Yesterday, the Supreme Court heard um, a case about obstruction charges against some of the January 